about to do this ready when his boss is at oh okay what's up guys it's your girl april and mumsy and we are back to do another dollar tree video you guys know we stay at the dollar tree although mumsy was not there with me this time i had my grandson and he be just throwing all kind of stuff in the car hey don't he be throwing stuff in the car he do yes he do so i think i spent like 60 something dollars at the dollar tree yesterday so we're about to get this on first things first i gotta show you guys this that i got from the dollar tree okay i had i had one of these before but um i'm sure and my purses are really up high um so this thing right here it's just a thing it has a little squeeze at the bottom and all you do is just pick up your stuff so like i will pick up what they use in stores that's what they use in the stores right i will pick up like let me pick up your glasses um maybe not right yeah okay so see this is just like amazing i love this thing so i use it well your glasses need to be clean girl how are you seeing anything out of these oh. i use it to get my purses down because um i can't reach them and i already have one but this portion gets stuck, so yeah, it's like, I mean, yeah, right? You you see, you tried it before? You tried to use my little post stick? <laughs> what the heck? What, you trying to, what did you try to get down? It's in my closet. I was just squeezing it. Oh, and it gets stuck, right? So this is a good one right here. So, you know, I can like squeeze you. Okay. This, which is a door, um... Thing where like you hang your jackets. Yes, you can hang your coats on it so these two would just slip right on top of the door and you can hang your coats i hang my head wrap scarves on it but these are really good i'm gonna give this to my son to put in his closet so that way he could just hang his jackets instead of throwing them on the floor because i guess it's really hard to hang up your clothes so i seen these and thought these were so cool these are splatter sc screens so I like to cook a, a lot, not all the time, but when I'm cooking my fried chicken, I cannot stand for the grease to pop. So I always put the, cause you have to clean it yeah, up it and it's all it over. Burns. It burns, but it just, I don't even care if it pops on me cause it doesn't hurt, but it be all over my stove and counters and I cannot stand that. It's a mess and it gets stained, right? Yeah. So I, but you see, as soon as I'm done cooking, I clean up right away. So that's just me. But this is more or less, it's kind of like a filter. And I like this a lot better than putting the top on the fried chicken because sometimes when you do that, it kind of takes the chicken longer to cook and plus it's not as crispy. So these will work just as well because it's a, um, a splatter protection plus it'll still be able to breathe and have air, moisture will leave it. So I thought these was amazing. And for the pan that I'm using, this will fit fine. I always cook like with two pans, so that's the reason why that too. So another one of the microwave plate covers this is probably like the third one that i've gotten i'm not really sure oh yeah how did the last one melt that was you what was it didn't you say you put something on top of it it has two holes in it that was me that was, that was nay oh blame it on your sister but these are good because it keeps your microwave nice and clean and also keeps the moisture in the food so i do love those that was Nay. Remember, she said she was making popcorn. Oh, it was Nay. That's right. She said she was making popcorn. She could have just took the top out <laughs> and put it to the side. A air pump, um, because I've been looking for one of these at the Dollar Tree for the longest, and I haven't found one. And we've got loads of basketball, bikes, and I also wanted to buy one of those, um, like yoga balls, because I have been working out. Girls, I walked three miles today. Okay, three miles. So I'm happy okay. about that, right? But these are a dollar, like for real. This is really good. It comes with the needle and everything. You'd go to somewhere like Walmart, you're paying like five bucks for these, so four bucks, okay. Also a new leash for sugar. This one is so pretty. It's more or less like rainbow colors. So pretty, it's cute, right? Did Coco get one? Yeah, Coco did get one, I'll show you in a minute. Um, four pair of these socks. These are the trouser socks. Tati loves these socks. She's probably got like, oh my God, probably like 12 pair of these. She say, she always tells me how comfortable they are. They're really nice and easy to wear in any type of shoe. Um, they don't fall down. They're just lightweight. They're really comfortable. So I got her four pair of these. They come in queen size and one size. So I got her the one size, which are really great. I have never tried them, but Tati always raves about these socks. Oh. Yeah, she loves them. 
Also, you guys know, whenever I go to Dollar Tree, I'm buying some socks. So, we got these here. These are the athletic socks for men. For my son, they're cute. They're red and green, or red and gray. For my daughter, Nays, just some regular anklets, three pairs, and they're all black. Never can have too many of these loafah sponges. Loofahs. Loofahs. Excuse me. <laughs> Loof sugar boy. Loofah. <laughs> Sugars. Okay, so Sugar, our dog, she has this little jacket, and it's all pink, and it looks, it is, loofahs. And loofahs. it has, like, a little str a tiny string to put. It does? The, yeah, to put, like, the little, like, the leash, like, this kind. Uh, I'm going to have to show you guys, but she had it on last night when we went for a walk. She looked like a walking loofah. <laughs> so these ones are actually good, though, because... With these being a dollar, I've seen these at Walmart for like three and four bucks. These are really good loofahs. They're not the thin, straggly ones. These are actually really good quality. They're very thick, so you can get a, a great suds out of them. I love when you can find like a good one because I have bought some from the Dollar Tree that really didn't last, but these are really good and puffy ones. The collar to her leash, so it's a matching collar. And I like these. These are really inexpensive. If you go to like the dog store, then you're paying more. Petco. Petco. Pet yeah. These are not a dollar there. Plus, these are the ones that have the snap on them like this. Yeah. And I love that about these. So, these are really inexpensive. A bottle of concentrated lemon juice. I thought I was going to be able to use this with my... Um, apple cider vinegar but from what i was told it's best to use like fresh lemon mumsy likes to make lemonade so for a dollar this is great this is a nice huge bottle uh, pulling out some pine salt there oh you thought it was pine salt <laughs> so coco's got one too he's got one that has a black um it's black with white bones I love this brush so much. This makeup brush by Wet n Wild. It was a contour brush. And at Walgreens, it was $2.99. And so was the eyeliner brush. So I brought two of each. I'm not really sure where the other ones are because they're in another bag. But yes, these, if you see the Wet n Wild contour brush or the eyeliner brush or the fluffy brush or the eyeshadow brush, pick them up. I use them daily and I will tell you this. They are absolutely amazing brushes for a dollar. Or if you're going to Walgreens or something, you're going to pay more. But if you can get them from Dollar Tree, definitely get them. Colgate toothbrush. This is the extra firm. I love when my teeth are like really clean. So, girl, got a little toothbrush. For my buddy Mumsy, this is a heart notepad. So there are eight of them in here. You like them? Mm-hmm. Okay, so to my friends. Yeah, they're for you and your friends. You can give them to your friends for ho um, Halloween, for Valentine's. So they come with eight in a package really cute and they're little notebooks i figured she could just give them to her friends for valentine's day also for mumsy's class i bought some of the furry and friends 34 valentine's with 35 stickers for her for valentine's day nice you're like oh they're cute i like that one you're my best bud probably give that to i went to brenna she said brenna i know pack of 12 pencils and they're just valentine's day pencils i used to have these these are the furniture markers they're not markers to like put on clothes or, <laughs> no this is for like furniture like if you get a scratch in your coffee table or table i needed a dark brown one i don't really know how they're gonna work from the dollar tree i'm not expecting a lot but just to hide a couple of nicks in my coffee table i've never heard of those before furniture markers no, do you like color on furniture? There's like a, like a little white mark on it. Like if it's got a scratch in the wood, mm -hmm. I will take this and I will just mark it. Some more dog foods. We, we already had a discussion about this before. Like, I gotta buy wet food to eat. I, I don't know. If I was a dog, I wouldn't want to eat this every day. Also for Mumsy, some... Um, Chanel stems. They, oh. Well, they're called pipe <laughs> cleaners, cleaners, but they call them Chanel stems. Chanel? Chanel? What does that say? I don't know. Do you actually clean pipes with these things? No. Oh. It's because it's like pipes and all. It's just um for you to do crafts with. I got two of these. These are Snack and Bones Premium Dog Snacks. So I figured, uh, figured I would give these to the dogs. They would probably like these. I don't really get them snacks because they're so choosy and picky. Like, I can't be bothered with, like... I don't think Sugar likes this. She doesn't like treats. She don't? Neither do Coco. He likes hot dogs. If you give him a hot dog, then he'd be, like, good. If you give my dogs, both of them, a dog treat, they will spit it out. Especially, like, them dried-up milk bones. Mm -mm. 
you know, like, she, one time when we were at um, a pet store, the lady gave Sugar a milk bone. She, she I like, know. Yeah. I felt so bad. And I, I, I just took it and carried it out with me because I was like, I didn't want to make her feel bad. But Coco don't like them neither. Like The lady at the contest? Yes. But Coco don't like those milk bone treats neither. I don't know. But I think Coco and Sugar are bougie. For real. Like... How you gonna not like no treat? Every dog likes dog it's treats. Dry. I don't know. If y'all got dogs and they like if y'all got dogs, comment below if they like treats. And if so, what kind? Cause let me know be, so I could go get them for mine because they be acting all bougie like they too good. You gotta give them like some hot dogs out the fridge. They be they figure that's a treat. Hmm. Well, eating up my damn food. They're they're dry, so Yeah, they are dry. I won't wanna eat them either. Now, I love a good peanut butter and jelly sandwich, or more or less a peanut butter and preserve sandwich, because I don't eat jelly. I do not like jelly, but I love some preserves. I just like peanut butter sandwiches. Yeah, my kids do not eat jelly or preserves. They would just eat a peanut butter sandwich. Like, that's, yeah, so does Brenna. That's so nasty. Your mouth be all dry, nasty. stuck together. It's good. You never even tried it. I tried. I made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I didn't like what it. What kind of jelly? Great. You shouldn't have tried the grape jelly. You should have tried the strawberry preserves. You loved it. Oh, no. It. It, it was the strawberry jelly. I don't believe you now. I think you're lying. <laughs> I did. I tried the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I you didn't, didn't like it? I didn't like it. It was gross. I love, I love peanut butter and the jelly. The jelly's too wet. It makes it a moist sandwich. Oh, you're crazy. Anyway, I love preserves. And this was a dollar, so I'm pretty sure it's going to taste good. This looks like a pretty good brand. Um, looks like it's all fancy and stuff. So, you know, it's like a Smucker's type. I, I still want to eat it if it was fancy. Okay. Well, if you guys like peanut butter and jelly or peanut butter and preserves, leave your comment below. Hashtag that, peanut butter and jelly. I'm going to hashtag it. They have some really good dog food there. Um, this time, the I am. This is the chicken with rice and gravy and also... The chicken and rice, no gravy. But they seem to have liked it a lot. It's kind of like, it seems like it's like ground up beef. I got them a few cans of that. So for my grandson, I got him these two baskets just to put his toys in. They're cute. Got a little handle on them. They look like a little clothes hampers. I'm gonna break with those baskets, the white baskets off the dollar store. What white baskets? Um, that one right there. Oh, that's a clothes hamper. Oh. That's, not, that's not for clothes. Oh. Some Colgate toothpaste. This is a, the dog leash that goes with the collar for Coco. I got me some baskets. Because I, I want to put them under my desk here because I just need them in my, my desk. So I thought these were so cute. So I got two of these. There two actually here. These are so cute. Like, I, you know, my room is pink. I thought these were just like really cute. I will use these to store under my desk. And this one as well. Just a smaller version. I don't really know what I'm going to put in here. But I think I just... I just like to buy stuff from the dollar store. Like all those boxes over there? That yes. Like some socks for Mumsy. These are just some um, anklets. Three pairs of socks. There you go. I have these pairs of socks. Before. Okay, well, you never can have so many socks. I know that. <laughs> Tinky loves toothbrushes. We constantly buy him toothbrushes, so I figured I'd give him a two pack of toothbrushes. <laughs> Cute. It's got panzer bears on it. <gasps> Your relatives. Now, y'all know what I told y'all about the 99 cent store, how I was loving this pain relief balm. Well, I found them also at the Dollar Tree. So I stacked up on these, stocked up, whatever you want to call it. I got me enough of these. So that way, when I got that pain relief, I'm a good girl. Another thing of toothpaste. This makeup remover, eye makeup remover, is really good. Um, for it to be a dollar, I really do like the Sashi Plus Chic eye makeup remover. If you guys have the opportunity, make sure you get this. It does remove your makeup really well, so I would definitely suggest getting this. Um, this was new at the Dollar Tree. I've never seen the Pure Silk Shaving Cream. There was this scent as well as, I think it was Black Raspberry was called. I've seen that one before. You seen that at the Dollar oh, Tree before? Oh, girl, why are you playing with me? <laughs> <laughs> You're so crazy. Um, also a new, um... Toilet brush thing? No, this is for the kitchen. Oh. This is a dish brush, see? Dish brush. Oh. That's what I like to use them for. It oh, cleans your yeah, dishes yeah. much better than a um, sponge, and the sponge just keeps it's germs in bed. Soaks up. Yeah, and it's disgusting. So I love these for cleaning dishes. Some tape, because I can never have too much, because Mumsy's always taking my damn tape. I like crap. Okay. Um, just some envelopes, padded envelopes. Also, some more headphones. 
These are really good. They are um, soft tip, really good headphones from the Dollar Tree. And then last but not least for my home girl right here. Yeah. Is these oh. glitter foam heart shapes. Are these you stickers? Gotta, no, you got to show them. Oh. No, they're not stickers. Oh. They're, um, they come with 12 and there's three different colors. And you're crafting. And also some of these stickers. Well, you can't be a pair of these stickers. The me. same ones? Not the same ones, but they were like dog stickers, remember? Yeah. And last, these are stickers and they're gems. Oh, sticker gems. So, yes, you guys, hunties, that was our Dollar Tree haul, you guys. So now we got to put it all away. Um, I love you guys. Stay Ziva and Zivalicious. Uh, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Me and Mumsy will be back soon to come in a new video. So, yeah, peace out.